hey guys my name is Tanzil and welcome back to my channel now in this video we are going to see how to fix the problem in which we are not able to run MSI files now these MSI files are actually Microsoft Windows installer packages so as you can see this is my MSI file it is a Java JDK file and the type of file is Windows installer package and it is going to open up with Windows installer all right and I'm going to try to run this file by double clicking on it and you can see I have received this error there is a problem with the Windows installer package a DLL required for this install to complete could not be run contact your support personal or package vendor just click on OK now if we right click on the exe file you can see that we have one option as run as administrator and many a times it happens that we are not able to install the exe file as well in that case running it as administrator solves the problem and this is the same problem with msi if we are able to run this msi file as an administrator then it will also be able to run properly without any error if you right click on the msi file you will not find any option which says run as administrator which means we are not able to run it as an administrator now to solve this problem we have three solutions so just open your start menu and then type cmd then right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator now this part is very important we have to run the command prompt as an administrator which means we have to give it the admin privileges so this is the workaround with the exe file we are just able to right click on it and then click on run as administrator but for the msi file we are going to run through the command prompt and we will give command prompt the admin privileges or the administrator privileges so once you have opened your command prompt you can just type msi exec.exe space forward slash i then we have to enter the location of the file so just right click on the msi file and then click on properties all right then we have to copy this location and then getting inside the command prompt i'll just paste it all right then we have to copy the name of the file as well all right then we have to type backslash and then paste the name of the file and then finally dot msi because that is the extension of the file as soon as you hit enter you will observe that the installation has begun which means the msi file now is running properly and you will be able to finish the installation every time you have to run any msi file which needs administrator privileges you will have to do it from the command prompt only you will have to do it the same way i'm doing it and also if there is space in the location or in the name of the file then you will have to enclose this entire path within double quotes so the best way is to always enclose it within double quotes whether you have space in the path name or not now that concludes the solution one 